This is Guy. I mean, you probably know him, you met, he's everywhere. He's on traffic signs, he's telling you where to stand in line. He and his identical twin brothers will make up a population, some of them painted red to show you how many COVID cases there are in the region right now, right? So he's just the typical stand-in for person. Now, there's nothing wrong intrinsically with Guy, but there is something wrong with us using him as a standard for person or human being. Why is that? Well, first of all, Guy quite obviously is a guy. And if you don't believe me, well, let's take away the typically male shoulders. Let's take away the short hair and the military pose. And maybe the figure you see now is much less typically male, but it still definitely is a person, right? Of course, we could go further. We could make the hair longer, the shoulders rounder, put on different shoes, different body shape, maybe a skirt. Now, what about this guy? Probably you would not say this is a guy. When you see this shape first, you would say it's a woman. And that's fine. But here's the question. Would you use this shape as a stand-in for human, for person? And if not, why not? I mean, she is a person in the same way as Guy was a person, right? She is not a special case. So why choose him and not her as the standard? And of course, also about her, there are things you could criticize. She's not representing everybody. I mean, she has straight hair, which is a Western standard ideal. Maybe her hair should be wavy. Maybe her hair should be curvy. Maybe she's wearing some traditional skirt. Maybe her body shape is not the Western ideal. Maybe if we look under the skirt, we realize biologically we don't have a she. Maybe she's not fully able-bodied to various degrees. Maybe she's quite young. Or maybe it's a he, but rather old. All of these people differ from Guy. All of these people deviate from what we often perceive as a standard. And that is a problem when we use our standard as our expectation. For example, if you look for a person for a certain job and we expect Guy, then the person we see here deviates from Guy by such a large degree that she already is at quite a disadvantage. She's not what we expected and she has to prove that she's worthy for the job. But she might make a great scientist, a great politician, a great teacher, a great hotel manager, whatever. The thing is, we have to give her the chance. But we won't give her the chance if what we expect is Guy. And if any deviation from Guy is something that has to be justified. Now, you might say, this is a simple figure. This is a guy we put on a sign, right? Does it really matter? But the same actually applies in many areas of life. The man, the white man, the heterosexual white man of middle age, able-bodied, this is what we perceive as a standard. And any deviation from this has it more difficult to get what the standard already gets because he already fulfills our expectations. So try not to use guy as a standard for human, not only on science, but especially in your thinking. When you think about a scientist or a politician or a teacher or a soldier or whatever, and you don't think of a certain special person, and when you, then you realize that most of these people you thought of were white, middle-aged guys. That's the problem. That's what we have to overcome. Now you might ask, I'm a white guy and I feel attracted to women. So I am already quite close to this shape. 
Why should I care? Now, obviously, I care for other people. And obviously, I believe that a society that suppresses diversity suppresses a lot of its potential and therefore is a society that is not as good as it could be. But let's assume I'm extremely selfish and I only think about myself. Then even for me, this guy is not really me. I mean, my body shape is not necessarily ideal. My hair, when it gets any length, is getting chaotic. And I really don't like to be too disciplined. I like to move a little bit. So even for me, this guy shape is anything but comfortable. So let's get rid of this guy shape. Don't let's get rid of the guys, but don't take them as a stand-in for person without thinking.